This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e learning to instructor led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. We've seen how to create queries and how to add simple criteria, but now what we want to do is start to ask multiple questions. For instance, where are all my employees in the state of Tennessee with the last name of Brown? Or where does everybody live, excuse me, who are all the people who live in Florida? or who lives in Florida and Tennessee. You see the point? So instead of just asking one piece of information, we want multiple pieces of information in the criteria grid. These are often referred to as and and or questions. Let's go to look at how to create an and, also how to create an or question in your query grid. We're just going back into the employee's query to remind you that we have in the ID, the last name, the first name, and the state. Let's go into design view and let's ask for anyone with the last name of Smith. Anyone with the last name of Smith and anytime you have an and question it's because you have all one line of information. We're looking for, well actually let's just stop there. Let's see all the people with the last name of Smith and we know that we have two. But again, we have a very small database. You could have hundreds or thousands of answers here in your Dynaset. So we have found all the Smiths, but we want more we want to narrow it down a bit more. So let's go back to the view. And we're also looking for all the Smiths from the state of New York. Let me back up for just a moment and tell you why these items are going to pop up on our screen. Access thinks we might be wanting to do some math, and so it's looking for all of the functions or formulas out there. Anytime you see these pop up and you don't need them, just keep typing and they will go away. But they're trying to help us with our math. We just don't need that help right now. So as I continue to type NY, then that disappears. So now I'm looking for an and. I'm looking for anyone with the last name Smith and they must be from the state of New York. Let's see what we get with that. There it is, Patty. Patty has the last name of Smith and Patty is from the state of New York. It's very convenient for us when we want to narrow down information simply to use an AND. Remember, ANDs, all the information is on one line. Let's get back to design view and let's take off Smith and let's focus for a moment on what we get if we have a question that's on two lines, two different lines. So I have New York or Florida. I'm looking for all of the people who live in New York or all of the people who live in Florida. You'll notice on the left side of the grid where it says criteria, the next line down is or. You can continue to stack these up. As many lines as you have, you can stack. And if you run out, you can simply right click and ask it to insert more lines. So we have New York and we have Florida. Let's see what we get when we run our query. Let's just sort these just to make sure, right? Everyone from Florida and everyone from New York. So when I close my query, it's going to ask me if I want to save the changes in the design. Remember, all these people are stored on the table, so I'm not changing anything about the people here. I'm just changing information about the design or saving information. And yes, I do want to save this design. And what I want to show you now is what Access did. Access said, you know, Sherry, you could have asked this a little differently. So let me right click and open in design view this time instead of opening it in the um, Dynaset or the data sheet view. And look what it did in our states. It said, you know, you could have typed it this way. You could have said your criteria, the word or, and then your criteria. I'll tell you the only reason that I don't type it that way, if all I'm doing is one field and a lot of ors, I stack them up simply to avoid the typo when I type space, or space, because I make a lot of typos. And then this way, I could have typos, but if I stack them, and if I did it this way, I don't have to deal with so many typos in there. But let's see what happens when I hit undo. Oh, it just took out that last answer. So let's type in or Florida. There we go. I really wanted to put that back because let's look at why you might use an or this way. I might use an or in this situation because maybe I'm looking for a specific person, last name of a person who's living in New York or Florida. So 
and actually I won't have anybody that fits this criteria. Let me just delete this for a moment, make sure that I have someone who lives in two states. So we have a Smith in New York or Tennessee. So let's change it so that we get um, something that matches our question. So I'm looking for Patty and Sam who live in New York or Tennessee. So let me go back here. So I'm looking for New York or Tennessee. So I have my criteria for my state and my last name is Smith. So now what I've done is I've used the power of an or all on one line combined with an and because anytime you have two or more criteria on the same line you have an and question. So now I'm looking for all the Smiths who are from New York or Tennessee and I hit run and there they are. There's Patty and Sam. Well you can also mix and match ors. Maybe I'm also looking for everyone with a different last name. I'm looking for everyone with the last name of Brown and anyone with the last name of Brown from Florida. So now I have on this first line, and I'm just highlighting over here to the left by the word criteria, there's a little thick arrow that points. I want to point to that line and point out what I'm talking about. So I'm looking at an and that says I'm asking for any Smith who is from New York or Tennessee. I'm also, I have a second and, any Brown who is from Florida. So each individual single line is an and question, but I also have an or, any Smith from New York or Tennessee or any Brown from Florida. So now I should get all the Smiths who live in the state of New York or Tennessee. I should also get all of the Browns who live in Florida. Let's see if we have somebody, the last name of Brown. Oh, we do. Yay, Patty lives in Florida so we can illustrate how our ands and ors gave us the proper dynaset. As you play with your ands and ors, I think you'll get very creative on how to ask your question, but the basic piece of information you need to know to ask query questions now is inside of your knowledge base, and that is an and criteria is all on one line, or criteria is either two separate lines, or three or four, multiple lines, I should say, or you use the criteria separated with the word or. And with that knowledge, folks, you can go out and ask any query that you would like.